It doesn't matter which way you cut it, this matchup for the Las Vegas Raiders, specifically Derek Carr versus the New England Patriots, yeah, this is a big one. So, I know that over the last couple of days, we have, uh, for a lack of a better term, uh, kind of put Derek Carr down. Now, this comes because we are hurt. We are hurt. Derek Carr was a guy that we stood up for for years, for years, because we pointed out very accurately, by the way, that some of you also did in the comment section down below. I wonder who you got the idea from, but uh, I, I kid, of course. But it's the fact that Derek Carr has never had a top 15 to top 10 defense. It just never has. That defense has always been uh, less than good, and it's never helped him out. And, and and it's gotten to the point where, you know, you know, I'm just done making excuses for the guy. I really feel like this is a thing where, okay, the, the Raiders are now sitting at a uh, at a place where they are third place, third place. We'll bring it up here right now for you in the AFC West. You are five and eight. You have already taken a game over the Chargers, who are seven and six. And really, quite honestly, you could probably just want them to slip up a couple of times. Like it doesn't have to be amazing, but you do want them to slip up one or two times here so that the Raiders have a chance here. And then, yes, of course, the Chiefs leading the division at ten and three. I mean basically have all but clinched the spot uh, in the AFC Championship game-ish, kind of. Maybe I jinxed them. I don't know. But at the end of the day, then you got the Broncos there at 3-10. and 10, And it's just getting to the point now where Derek Carr has four games. And it's not even like it's it's four games that aren't absolutely winnable. We'll show you here the remaining schedule here in just a second. But I think it's really important to point out the fact that uh, Derek Carr, again, uh, this doesn't come from a place of me not liking the man. In fact, I would say it is the exact opposite because we've made excuses after excuses for this man and he deserves, uh, you know, nothing but the best. We wish him nothing but the, but the best moving forward. So you'll see here. So the Patriots game, uh, I'm trying to scroll down here if my computer would work with me here. But uh, the Patriots game, yes, uh, starting there at 2.05. Going to be interesting. Uh, that is mountain time also, by the way. So the Patriots game, yes, this is a matchup where you need these last four games to be able to make a statement. Then you got the Steelers who, I mean... The Steelers can get got, like especially next Saturday, uh, Christmas Eve. Uh, the Steelers, I like Kenny Pickett. I think that the Steelers, under Mike Tomlin, despite the fact that he's done some amazing things, they can get got. The Steelers are beatable. The 49ers look invincible. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. They are a tough team right now. Uh, Brock Purdy has got them playing at a high level. That defense is hard to stop. They can run the football. I was just talking to my wife about it, the fact that they can do like seven or eight different things on any given play, and it just makes it really difficult for the defense. But, I mean, we've streamed... Uh, We've seen stranger things happen, specifically in the NFL. And so, uh, do I think that the Raiders can beat the 49ers? Possibly. I mean, the 49ers have already clinched a playoff spot, uh, currently on a seven-game winning streak. So, they could rest their starters for that. It's definitely a possibility. But at that point, they're probably going to be playing for a number one seed, possibly a bye to be able to make sure that they are healthy going into the playoffs. And I think that it would be a, a very premature to say that they're going to rest their starters. So it's possibility, but I think the Raiders have to make sure that their lunch is packed on that one. That's going to be an interesting one. And then, yes, the Chiefs, like we mentioned, leading the division. Those are the, That's the team that you're going to have to go play against to be able to justify getting into the playoffs. And I think, you know, you know, these last four games are going to be interesting, but at the end of the day, it really does rest on what Derek Carr and uh, specifically the legacy that he wants to leave. And it's the fact this is the man's last chance. I mean, next year, we, we pointed out the fact or spot rack pointed out the fact that this specifically with how his contract is written it's basically a one-year deal uh until after like february 14th then they can cut him with like only six million dollars dead against the cap and quite honestly they can move on from him go draft a guy go sign lamar jackson trade for a quarterback whatever they want to do because Derek carr uh you know his contract is is very workable and very uh, team friendly if you ask me so at the end of the day i think that uh, Derek carr as much as we hate to say it he could be definitely be on his last leg against the new england patriots and i think these last four games uh really are uh, the last chance for Derek carr and this team to be able to make a statement and justify uh most of these guys coming back next year Year. But let us know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like and subscribe down below. Leave a like and a comment. It helps people find the show. We greatly appreciate all the support that we've gotten and continue to get. You guys are all truthfully awesome. We love every single one of you. Down in the description below, you'll find all of our social media platforms. So give us a like and a follow there. Also remember to give us a listen and sub on iTunes. And finally, if you have anything else you'd like us to cover, send us an email at the sportsbp at yahoo.com or put in the comment section down below and we would love to cover it. But let us know what you guys think about the Patriots matchup and really these last four games of the 2022 NFL seeing being Derek, Char Derek Carr's last chance.